Hello everyone, welcome back to The Sims 4 and welcome back to the channel. So, we've done a lot of work with the Fallout 4 survivors, uh, specifically Carlos and Nora and their six kids, one of which is now aged up, but we're going to go around the neighbourhood a bit and check out the other households that we've moved out. At some point I'm going to make them unplayed so that they can uh, have a bit more independence and go about their own lives, but for now uh, we're going to do a quick tour of all of the houses just so we can make sure everything's set up, ready for them to live independently. So, first we're going to uh, go around the block, uh, starting with uh, Hancock, since he was the first to move out, and then we'll go around all the houses one by one and check how they're doing. So, let's see Hancock first. And we're here with Hancock. He's at the computer. What's he doing? He better not be trolling the forums. Oh good, he's just chatting. Fair enough. Alright, so how are the kids doing? Uh, they've been aged up. They are now child, uh, children. Children. <laughs> um... Uh, so, we have Ray Jr. and we have Carlos. So, uh, how are they doing skills-wise? Oh, wow, they're not doing bad. They must be doing well at school. So, uh, they can't really get in touch with their mother. There aren't many interactions to make that available. Uh, so she's stuck at Batu, seemingly forever. And Hancock is going to be stuck here forever as well, because as a ghoul, he's immortal. Uh, so he's unfortunately gonna, probably going to watch... The kids age up and die. Ah, uh, sadly. Uh, so, uh, we've got their lives to take care of. How are they doing at school? They have to do their homework. So, we'll start off with their homework. Bam. Uh, uh, there is an after-school club for doing homework. Uh, so, actually, can we join a club? After join. Boom. Join a club. Boom. Hurrah! So they have some friends um, already, but what they can do is cancel that, start an activity, a club gathering thingy. Um, and all the kids should turn up. Great, and they'll get bonus points now for doing homework. Do homework together. So all the kids that are in the club should turn up, and more kids should join. I've increased the limit for uh, all of the clubs by, two, well, 250. Um, I also don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, but I've reduced the uh, household limit number back to the default of 8. So, yeah, there'll be no more kids in Carlos and Nora's household, at least until the others have moved out. Uh, but the two adults that remain are going to have to stay there to look after them. Anyway, let's see how all the kids do chatting with each other. Making new friends, making relationships, there's Nat. So everyone should start building up friendships and kind of networking, getting to know each other. Who are you? Who are you? Nanami Ito. Whoop, hello. Um, do you want to queue up getting to know this person? Talk about school, um, ask about day get to know. Yeah, make some friends. That's going to be important later on, to have some relationships. We're also going to do the same for Ray Jr. Um, so we're going to queue up friendly interactions. She talks like her mother. <laughs> yep. Bless her, she's inherited the voice from Ray. Which is good. All of our kids have a chance of inheriting it. Uh, but it does mean that there's something she can't talk about because uh, Riz actor hasn't recorded that many lines. Um, I don't know what this bug is with them stretching to use the thing. That's weird. So seeing as we have Nat here already, uh, what we're going to do is after we've spent some time here, we're going to follow Nat home and go to Piper's house next. But until then, let's let this meeting continue till about 10 p.m. and then we'll send everybody home. In the meantime, has everybody done their homework? Complete? Yes. Complete. Brilliant. So right now they're grade C students. Um, hopefully over time that will improve. In fact, I think this lot and all of the lots that Carlos built have the good schools trait. I mean, it makes sense to give it to all of them because they're all in the same neighborhood. So if one of them's in range of a good school, surely all of them will be. You know what I mean? So they all have that trait. Uh, now, let's continue seeing 
how their relationships develop. So the question I have to answer is, uh, am I going to immediately make it an unplayed household, ooh, hello, uh, once we're done here? Or do I keep them all as played for a little while? Invite in. I don't know what you're doing here, but welcome. So we'll invite who, Lily Feng? Fair enough. Don't know what they're after. Maybe they're here to hit on Hancock. Maybe they know that is he's sort of... Is it strange to the right word? No, it's a sort of long distance thing. Maybe they're hoping to capitalize on his loneliness. Maybe. Uh, and now she's immediately leaving? Um, get to know her. Let's see. Let's see what enchanting introduction. Well, so we've learned that she hates children. She's on flirty, but she's a genius. Oh. Um. No, we can't, because we're going to Piper's house next. Sorry, Kate. And uh, we will get to Kate in time. Hopefully during this episode. We're going to do all of them one by one. So let's let this get to about 10 o'clock, and then we'll move on to the next house. Oh, it's snowing. Yay. So the kids are all inside playing now. Uh, which is grand, we're all getting to know each other. Uh, let's check their relationships. So they're getting there. Not very fast, uh, but maybe we should queue up some stuff. Um, inside joke. Talk about grilled cheese. Tell a goofy story. Talk about school. Just do all these one by one. And we'll do the same for Carlos. Uh, we'll queue up a bunch of stuff, one by one. Don't complain about the snow, snow is great. Um, get to know. Goof around. Yep, why not? And we'll just queue up similar such things with everyone. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Well, just about. So it's time to leave this house and move on to the next location. So, what we're going to do is we're going to end the gathering, say goodbye to everyone, and then, we're going to go to the next house. Uh, Piper's. There she is. Uh, for some reason with an umbrella inside. You know that's bad luck, right? Uh, what does she have to do for a book? She has to write another book. Uh, so, that's what we're going to have her do. Write a genre book. Um, screenplay? Yeah, why not? We'll do a Fallout screenplay. Why not? Hasn't been a Fallout film yet. So, how is Judy doing? Um, she doesn't actually have a job, so we should get her a career. Uh, now there is no career for editing brain dancers, so... Uh, we're gonna have to find something similar. I'm thinking something along the lines of techie... Something like that. So what do we have? Um, astronaut sounds fun, uh, but... Um, not engineer... What have we got? Tech guru! There we go! Tech guru it is! Just to play video games? Not bad. Do we actually have any? Oh my god! Really? Do you really have to do this? Little bastards. Okay, right, Judy, discipline the kids. <sighs> discipline. Calm. That's not to make a mess. Did you make the other one? I don't know. Uh, maybe this one did both of them? But I think we've missed the opportunity to discipline them. What is with that weird face makeup? I want to deal with that. Okay, so now that that's fixed, first of all, we're going to stop these kids from uh, playing in the fucking toilet. And we're going to go around one by one and sign them all up for preschool. Oh my god, you little bastard. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. You little shit. Discipline. Calm. Ask not to make a mess. Uh, and then... Sign up for preschool. We'll do the same for all of them. What are you crying about? Wait, have you been signed up for preschool? Oh, apparently you have. Have I done them all? Um, I think I have. Yes. Okay, good. Ah, welcome back, Nat. I didn't notice you there. How's it going? Um, so, wait, how have you not done your homework? You were at the thing. You... Oh, fine. Breeze through your homework. Get on with it. So, we've got all these uh, signed up for preschool. Uh, after Piper's done a book, we'll get her to clean up this. And then we'll go to the next day and we'll send everyone to school so they can start getting the skills up. What? Kate's joined the Raiders. Fuck's sake. 
You leave her alone for just a minute, all right? We'll have to, we'll deal with that in a bit. Uh, in the meantime, these kids will just will not stop making a fucking mess. You stop one, you yell at them for doing it, and another one pops up. They're just uncontrollable little bastards. So we're just going to get sufficient, like, gradually more strict at them for us. We start off calm, and the more they do it, the angrier we get. See if that'll stop the little fuckers. Well, you deserve it. Like, I asked you calmly, then I told you firmly, and now I'm yelling at you. You gotta learn. Oh my god! It's happening again! These little fuckers just will not fucking stop! Could you please not? What is with you? Oh my god, now the two of them are doing it. Little fuckers! Little bastards making a mess. It's all they do! It's all they fucking do! Little shits. Well... May have found a f an exploit. Maybe? Well, something that'll help me out. Um, we can get Nat to clean it up the mess, and that'll raise her responsibility. So that when she gets older, she'll be really responsible. We can keep doing that. Like, if we can use the toddlers to farm mess, and then get her... Use that to farm up her responsibility? That might work. Um, right, so. It's five in the morning. Which, as we all know, is the perfect time to go to school. Uh, apparently. Um, so, wait, hold on. Hold on. Right. Everybody, go to preschool. Okay, we'll do the same for you. Oh, you haven't signed up yet. Well, now you can go to school. Bam. Uh, you can stop playing in the fucking toilet and go to school because you've got that queued up. Um, what are you doing? Well, don't do that. Go to school. Good. Get them all a decent education. Uh, so we'll let them go to school. They'll come back at about 10 a.m. Roundabouts. Something like that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll let them do their work. Uh, Piper goes to work in four hours. Uh, right, she goes in five. Um, you don't need to check the toddler because it will be at school, so you just need to play games. Well done. That's your job now. Nice. Oi, little bastard. Go to school. And you, what are you doing? Okay, you're on your way to school. Off they go. So their skills will go up. Thank fuck. Because we're having a hard time getting them all getting them all trained. Um, especially as we don't actually have a potty. We should sort that out. Oi, Ray! You should be at school. Shouldn't you? Yeah, you should be at school. Speaking of which, so should Nat. Um, Ray, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at school? Unless you're walking to school right now? Alright, we'll just... Pretend that that's what's going on. Uh, well, for whatever reason, we can't send her to school. Um... Okay. We won't be mad or anything, given that it's not actually her fault. Ooh, royalty reports! Ooh, nice. That's all coming in nicely. Brilliant. Well, because of Harvest Day, everybody is on holiday, except for the toddlers who had to go to preschool. Um, we should get them inside, really, <laughs> out of the rain. So everybody go in here. Everyone inside. There we go. Right. So now, let's move on to the next house, which was Kate, I think? Yeah, I think we promised Kate next. So, let's head to Kate's house. Okay, so now we're at Kate's house. Um, we have babies to take care of. Uh, we've got to age them up first. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to age up these ones at the front to get them out of the way so we can reach the next ones. Um, so, let's do that first. Age up. Um, we might be able to reach... Yeah, we'll be able to reach that one, but not the one at the back? Well, we'll try. So we'll divide up the tasks between the two... With everyone having so many children, we're going to have a viable population for this neighbourhood, luckily. Um, so, we'll make this one inquisitive. And hopefully they won't have any of that weird eye makeup. Okay, now Gary, we'll make him angelic. We won't actually stop him making a fucking mess, but... Never mind. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, is change the last names of these two. 
Um, actually, to Wells. Oh, no. Don't you fucking dare. I know what you're planning on doing. Good. Uh, right, so, we need to do the potty trading stuff, so that means getting all of the kit. Okay, good. Everyone has a toddler bed each. Um, there's two potties in there. There's four high chairs downstairs. So, we should be good to go. Uh, so, uh, we need to get Sarah a job, I think. What does she want to do? She wants to be a musical genius. Okay. Oh, she's a land surveyor. Fair enough. Spread conservation awareness. Alright, let's do that. Um, how do we do that? Uh, there we go. Hooray! Uh, what does Kate need to do for her job? Browse intelligence. Okay, so we'll get it downstairs and have her doing that. Where'd I put the computer? It's down here. There's all these different houses. I'm getting confused over the layouts. <laughs> I'm mixing it all up. Uh, right, it's in web, which is an odd place to put it. But okay. Fair enough. Let's stick with these guys for a while and see how that turns out. Um, no doubt we'll have a mess to clean up, unless we can distract the kids. So, um, goodbye. Why goodbye? All right, uh, you can... Why are you saying goodbye? Where are you going? Where are you going? All right, that, that's weird. All right, let's just distract them. Okay. Uh, you can... All right, you go to bed. Fair enough. Hug lovingly. Yeah, distract each other with hugs. In fact, what we can do... Um, one of the things we can uh, do is a toddler play date? Um, plan a social event. So we'll get on the phone. Uh, we'll get a toddler play date set up. We'll get a bunch of toddlers around. We can all play with each other. So, toddler play date. It's in the list somewhere. I think. There we go. Okay. Um, have them both. Okay, host toddler. Set all them. Guest toddler. Oh, we don't know any? Well, that sucks. That's a shame. Alright. We need to get no more toddlers. Um, my solution to this is usually to create a club. Like I did with the after school club. But you can't do that for toddlers. Um... So there's not much we can do. I mean, we could take them round to another house. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going on a journey. Travel. Uh, we'll take everyone in the house with us. We'll go to one of the other houses. Hit two birds with one stone. Okay, Sarah, do you want to knock on the door? So we can get out of this rain. Whenever you're ready. Hey, everyone inside, quickly. Okay. Um, wait, why are you... Go to daycare, don't go to daycare. Um, play with the kids. Yeah, I know they're strangers, but they're family? Actually, they're not technically related. Well, they are by in-laws, I think. So that should be fine. So yeah, introduce yourself to your sort of relatives. There you go. There are two doors if you don't want to file in through that one. Come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh my god. They just cannot help themselves making a fucking mess. Little buggers. Uh, well, at least they can distract each other now. With, like, playing and stuff. Um, so, um... I was over there. There's Piper. We can all get together. Uh, why is one of our kids wandering outside? Where are you going? Get back in there. Get back inside. Dafty. Who's this? Uh, a maid? I think? Who are you? Hold on a minute. Sarai Foy. Fair enough. Ah, oh, the kids are getting along. Everyone's getting along. Hooray! Um, this one's asking to be picked up. All oh, these two chats. Are you going to pick them up? There we go. Oh. He's not into that. Why not? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh my god. You little bugger. Stop making a mess of their house. How dare you. Alright. Uh, Kate. Give them a talking to. Uh, parenting. Discipline. Strict. Yeah, for making a mess. 
Sounds like with a kid's personality. Oh, yes! Kit, yes. You are leaving the Raiders. There you go. I think it's because she has the mean trait. Um, that's the reason she joined the Raiders. Um, but we don't want her in the Raiders. She's in the Minutemen. Th that's a conflict of interests. So we've got more friendly interactions queued up for each of the kids. Um, so they should hopefully get to know their relatives a bit. Um, let's have a look at relationships. Uh, it's not really going up. What we want is for them to start building friendly relationships with them as well. Um, well it, it, it's a little bit acquaintances. Well, hopefully we can work on that. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Carlos's place just to change the weather. I should have built a weather device everywhere. Like I did with each of the Fallout settlements. But never mind, I neglected to do that. Speaking of neglecting things, um, I think it's time we went to see Curie and how they're doing. Because they've got kids that need aging up. Why, do you, why are you singing New Year's song? Actually, yeah, that was all Lang Syne. Why are you singing all Lang Syne, Kate? Uh, fair enough. Okay. While these kids are busy playing, let's move on. Okay, we're now at Curie's house. So, immediately we have to sort out the babies. So we're going to get uh, these kids aged up. Uh, so we'll do that one. Do that one. This music strangely quiet. I can't hear the rain. There's not much. Okay, fair enough. We'll live with this. Um, so we'll age up these kids. And then we've got to put toddler beds down. Ooh. Um, inquisitive. And then we've got to put toddler beds down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hire a nanny service. We don't need a nanny. At least not yet. Okay. Good. We'll get that done. I'm also going to figure out why I'm not getting any sound. Because that's weird. Maybe a restart is in order. Uh, we'll do it after we've aged up the kids, though. So, we have everything set up. We have the sound back. I exited the, or exited the game and came back in. We have toddler beds in all of the rooms. We have a potty. Oh, shit. High chairs. I completely forgot about high chairs. Alright, uh, we've got plenty of room, so we'll stick a few high chairs down here. Okay, there we go. They're scattered about a bit. Um... But yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, so, I've signed everybody up to preschool. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the next day pass so that they can actually go to preschool and start building up their skills. In fact, what I'm going to be doing off camera is playing through and giving them all a chance to develop and getting them all up to child age out of toddler. Um, I think that would be best. Hello, who are you? Oh, uh, Lilith Vittori? Vampire lass? Yep. L oh, look, she's married now. Fair enough. So she's married to somebody else. Um, I wonder if she's turned them into a vampire yet. But she's in the vampire coven. So she's one of the Minutemen's enemies. Bastards. I didn't want to try and wipe out the vampires. Um, there are ways to do it. Uh, what you can do if you want to be cheeky is make a vampire club and make one of their activities like hang out in the daylight, essentially. Um, so they become like rather suicidal. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this as legit as possible. In a straight up fight. Um, there are ways to do it. Um, I do have mods that allow you to kill people, but only by very specific means, and that's magic. Uh, but we don't have any magic users yet. So maybe it's time to do like a sort of Helsing character. Maybe. A monster hunter. Um, some other time. For now, we'll... Uh, yeah, maybe do that next episode or the episode after that. We'll see. But for now, we've got these uh, toddlers to raise. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through all of the families. Uh, first, we're going to do this episode, getting these lot to preschool tomorrow. Uh, that way, they'll start to build up their skills. Uh, these ones here. And we'll get them on the way to being able to level them up. Or age them up, rather. And then, once we're done with that, uh, off camera, I'll do the same for all of the families and get them all up to child age. Rather than toddler. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, stop it, you little bastard. Stop it. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Stop that. Stop that, you little bugger. Curie, you're going to have to discipline this kid. Yep, it's a good thing um, we'll be aging them up soon. Because I'm sick of them making this fucking mess. The kids do it as well. But less frequently, from what I can tell. Yeah. Oh, why are you tense? Oh, birthday party. Birthday party? What birthday party? Huh? 
Maybe they're aging up the life can Oh, you little shit! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Alright, Sayori, it's your turn to discipline. Discipline. Uh, we'll go with calm first. Ask them not to make a mess. And then we'll clean it up. Little fuckers. None of these are planning on doing any more of that, are they? No. No, don't splash in the toilet. Little bugger. Find some toys to play with. Wait, did I not buy them any toys? Okay, that's my bad. Let's buy them some toys. Okay, they now have a toy chest, and they have um, a dollhouse downstairs. It takes up a lot of room. Um, might find somewhere else to move it to. Hell, the best room might just be to stick it in the middle here. Uh, we don't have a basement, sadly. Um, I didn't build a basement in all of the houses, uh, so we're just going to have to make do with what we got. So, let's carry on till tomorrow, and then we can send them all off to preschool. So almost all of them are off to school, uh, we've only got a keem left to do. Um, some of them can't make it down the stairs, so they have to have the parents do it for them. But all of them are off to school, and that's going to seriously bump up all their skills. Come on, Akeem. You can do it, buddy. You're leaving the nest. And you're going to school. Um, he's taking his time. You can make it. You can do it, pal. Off into the big wide world. And off he goes. Okay, so. We only have these two to deal with now. Uh, they are going to clean up the mess that the kids have made. As is what we want to do. Wait, what's she doing? Oh, she wants to do the Strangerville thing. We are not doing that. Uh, we are going to find a job. Ah! Um, so yeah, I'm going to join Curie at her work. Come back next time. In fact, we'll do the outro once we've made it to work. So, here we are. Uh, Curie's at work, so we're going to queue up a few things. Uh, swab a patient for a sample. Yep, sure, so examine. Swab for sample. Um, we'll do the things on different patients. So, examine patient, scan body. There we go. Run test for diagnosis. Okay. Sure. Uh, so, we'll, we'll take discuss general health. Um, what the hell did I just queue up there? Um, okay, um, examine patient. Um, swab sample. Yeah, why not? So we'll have those queued up. So, come back next time and we will have the toddlers put up to children age. And then after that we're going to slow down the pace a bit and just be a bit more languid with things and follow people around their daily lives, a sort of slice of life thing, getting into mischief as we go with particular objectives for certain characters. We're going to have side stories and side characters doing their own little things, we have little missions and goals for ourselves, but in the meantime, check out the other links in the description below and on the playlist tab for the series I've done. Uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you liked it and want to keep up with the channel. Basic stuff, you've heard it all before, but it really does help the channel. And there are other ways to interact with us and support us. Uh, Patreon links and whatnot for the financial stuff, uh, hanging out with other fans in the Discord, um, helping the TV Tropes page by putting entries do down on that. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining me, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.